Right then, everyone. It's uh, 14th of December 2019, and this is my Alberta studio. I've got a very old tape recording, which is about my visit to Reading Gel. I've just got to try and get the start of the tape because um, it's very old. It's 43 years old now, and it was beginning to look, sound like it was going to snap. Uh, I'm going to set it up again to see if I can catch the start of the tape. Um, I've had to wind it back manually with a pencil, so it might be it might be buggy, you know, loose, baggy, baggy. It might be baggy. <sighs> right, I'm going to try and record now, so we get on with it. Let's just see. We would try to assist these men to adjust uh, to be able to return to a normal prison institution existence. Now you can see that that's almost an impossible task because you can't, you may change or modify, shall we say, a man's character, you may modify his outlook. But unfortunately, the system operates in such a way, rather a clumsy way, that if a man is transferred from here, shall we say, to work with scouts, mm. they get leave where he's come from. What right? happens is, as they go in the gate, two from ready. Yeah. And if he goes ready, it's really associated with mm. rule for three prisoners. So when they go in, secrecy no longer exists. So there have been plans put forward, schemes put forward to try to make it more secret, etc., less publicity in the paper. For example, you saw recently, didn't you, that neither men nor women in rape cases would be named unless mm. they were proven guilty. This yes. was only the weekend. Mm. This is all part and parcel, I think, of the homo's idea to stop this inner persecution within the penal institutions. <clears throat> um, at the moment, we have this mixed batch of prisoners, we have those working on the project, who are out of the A wing, and in B and C wing, we have the rule 43 prisoners. Now, I wouldn't say life is harsh for them here, but I would say on the whole it's fairly easy, they have a choice of meal those days. Uh, as you will see, when we get down there, they're watching television. They can have association, that is, they can mix. Voluntary um, education, you can't press a man to go and follow any patients. Voluntary not. Is this mainly in the evenings as well? Yes. Mm. Um, well, there is one, I think, important aspect of this, and as far as I'm concerned, it's a worthwhile one. And that's if a man comes to attend a class and you're competing against television and all other oh, yeah. diversifications, mm. it means that he wants to come along. Mm. So, this way, you get uh, a man coming along, not because he has to, but because he wants to. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you know, we, we have a reasonable degree of success in that respect. Do you have that in the library as well? You know, with the library and... Yeah, uh, this is what one of these anomalies exists because the library is under the direct control of an officer. Uh, in other establishments, it may be more directly under the control of the education officer. Obviously, we work together on this. Yeah. But if it came to the crutch, I am not officially in charge of the library. I see. But because I'm an early, an, an early employee, I had access to all the facilities um, which the LEA could provide in the way of uh, library books from the uh, reading section of the library just around the corner. Uh, the school library section is available to me. I can go in there more than any time. I can borrow books. So in actual fact, um, I have a whole, not like any particular school, perhaps I'm not so confined, I have the tech colleges, I could even probably contact your college if need be, if I thought that there was anything there that could assist me, you know, mm. and request permission to use it, or to contact mm. one of your lecturers for 
Can we talk? There's something yes. I've had them mm -hmm. coming from and them from Madden mm -hmm. University and giving talks to men for perhaps on the history of the prison, you know, when we were excavating here, mm -hmm. for example. Um, all this kind of thing. So that we it's really within wings. Berkshire, of course, have only one prison under the administration, and that's this one. They're from the only education officer in the prison service in Berkshire. So, a multi parliament unit position obviously has its advantages. Yes. And it wasn't until some time after the reformation of the boundaries, if you remember, mm. that uh, they realised they had a prison in the administration. So, I was suddenly crossed there and. Uh, yeah. Mm. Do you have any control in, in any of the local Borstal institutions if they've got any? No. No, no. 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 Just no. You see, there are no other penal establishments in the administration sure. of Barcher other than the prison. I see. Mm. Uh, the, nearest one you, the nearest prison we have to this one is, um, well, it's Tosses, I suppose, Oxford, which is a local prison that's in obviously Oxford itself, Oxford County. Uh, Hunter Home, which is a borsal, which also comes under uh, Oxfordshire. Mm. And the next nearest prison I would suggest to you would be um, Corbyn Bay, which is in Surrey. That's our bag shop You know what I mean? Yes. Um, that's near Disney, actually, Corbyn Bay. The next one we have, uh, uh, which I would suggest is a proximity, is Ashford Remand Centre. So you have the young people mm. there. That again is Sally. See, so this one is the ongoing Barcher's administration. Mm. Uh, so I've got no jurisdiction over any other establishment other than this. They have their own education officers. Yes. How long do uh, prisoners usually stay here? Does it vary from a couple of months to well, several years? Or? For example, the men on the project that you saw working out there as you came in, mm. they could be very short term people. Mm. Uh, but people that would be going. Outside, or people that would be transferred, I suppose, probably both, wouldn't it? Not very likely from A Wing. The A Wing people are the people who are comparatively short time serving sentences. Oh, I see. Um, and the others could be lengthy, could be five, could be six years. Let me just give you a, a random Because that would get, if they were in for six years, they could take a, a degree, probably, couldn't they, through the. Um, See, most of them on this page now, here's a man who is, uh, came in on the 18th of the 12th, 75. Won't give you his name, but yeah. he's doing nine years. Yes. Now, his discharge date is not until the 10th of September 1977. So when he came to us, he had already done quite a substantial mm -hmm. amount of his sentence. Now, immediately underneath him, there's a man, 21 months. Mm. See? Two and a half years, five years, three years, nine months, three years, five years, nine months. Yes. Someone who's come more or less entirely for the mm. um, project work. He's a carpenter or something oh, of this yeah. nature. Turning over the page, I see a man in front of me who's got one year, another man about him who's got seven years. Mm. So yeah. you see, we are dealing with, on this side, the people who are in for comparatively short terms, Mm -hmm. who have perhaps come from Norwich Prison, which is a local prison, Oxford yes. Prison. There was a Norwich experiment, wasn't there? I read somewhere. That is not the... You were one up on me there. I wouldn't the know. Norwich experiment or something. May well, may well be. I can't remember the details of may that. May well be. Uh, anyway, if you've got in the field or it's been asked by the engineer that he needs more carpenters, more bricklayers, the mm -hmm. governor tries to get these men from other establishments. So we come here, and we only have six months of their time to serve, but they're on a project building while they're here. Yes. They earn obviously more money than the people who are working in the ordinary workshops, yes. Yes. Uh, doing cleaning jobs. But the being away from the sea wing people, as I call it to you, can be in for fairly lengthy sentences. Mm. Uh, I suppose you've found with those that are in for a long time that they probably would want to take up a course, would they, or not necessarily? Not necessarily, no. Yeah. It, 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 it varies entirely, Sheila, because you can get a man's reaction to your first approach is such that he's full of enthusiasm. Mm. You find freedom as well. He's out from behind his locked door. Mm. So they're, they're only too willing to comply, and all classes sound very nice to them. So you might get them going on, then they get restless. Uh, they're influenced by those who don't attend classes. 
Yeah. Well, you probably do get that with subgroups. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you? Subcultures develop, yeah. yeah. So the result is that you have um, people who get restless, who get bored, etc. Can I come off the class? So what I do insist on is that a man who um, comes on the class stays on that class for at least a third. If the teacher yeah. suggests that he comes off, then I would take him off of it. Only under those circumstances would I move on, or if he does that. For example, say, well, this man's being useless, he must come off the class. Mm -hmm. uh, when they come in, I give them that. It's only a small uh, oh, yes. form to fill in, but it gives me some indication. A man will say, well, I can't read. I've their background. And, yeah. That is the class list for this term, which they ticked if they wanted to oh, go. Yes. Once they've signed and dated it, I can say, well, you volunteered, so you're going to stay on the class. I see. Yes. So you're welcome to say that with you as well. Oh, thank you. Do, they, do you have a, a, a prison uh, newspaper or a magazine that will no. circulate? No, this, this is rather interesting, too, because... Um, you know, they do sometimes, you know, yes. people can express themselves, can't they? Like until, writing poems or... Up until very recently, um, uh, the Times was the Times. Up very recently, we were, we were producing one, which is aptly named The Ballad. The Ballad? Yeah. Well, Oscar Wilde wrote a ballad, didn't he? Yes, yeah. So we had the Times in The Ballad, and Farley had been the first... Another thing I read about recently was um, group counselling or something, where people sit around in a group and have general discussion yes. about the welfare officer. He does that, does he? No, he believes a great deal in this, but the, uh, we haven't got this off the ground. I think one thing has to be made quite clear here, and that is, whereas a member of the general public would expect prisoners to be receiving uh, a measure of treatment, mm. It doesn't necessarily follow. They are. Very often they come in, they receive no treatment at all as such, unless a man doing a certain sex offence may opt to request a certain operation be done. There's no law which can compel him to oh, no. have this done. No. Uh, this was the one we produced last. So again, you can... Uh, Do you have any... Newspaper that circulated throughout the prison, prisons of the country, or does it, is it just within? I understand there's a, there is a paper which uh, is circulated amongst prisoners. I don't know whether we receive it here, uh, but I think they, I think most prisons provide some kind of. But the interesting thing about that magazine is it's fallen into uh, disrepute simply because uh, we have not been able to get the volunteers to produce it. They don't mind reading it. Yeah. They don't mind contributing That's always the thing, isn't it? Physical, to... physical effort of producing it. Uh, we have not had a great deal of success in getting the man no, to do we've it. got that at college as well, you know. Yeah. You always find it. Um, mm. You find the people who want to do, and those who just want to sort of order other people to do it. Yeah. What about uh, PE? Do they have PE as well, you know, physical? Uh, before you go any further, if I could just uh, go through these things which, which you put down here, aims and purposes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, your education facility is available to prisoners. Well, I've more or less given you a yeah. lot of information on that, and you can see at a glance by my timetable, etc., yeah. what there is available mm -hmm. to them. Having said that, that doesn't mean to say that it all is available to them. Uh, a lot of education is done also through correspondence courses. Oh, yeah. yeah so I was going to bring that up, actually. And you'll find that Mr. Mr. Williams, who comes oh, from Brock, that Tuesdays. Yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll be downstairs, you can have a check with him, and his work is to make certain that these men are doing the correspondence course they asked for and assist yeah. them with any difficulties which they have in doing mm -hmm. so. Because they're quite expensive as well, aren't they? Do Who pays for them? The whole mother's paid for them. I see. Or, if necessary, they make a contribution toward themselves. And I'm allowed to grant up to, close up to £18. Mm -hmm. Lately, points rise, etc. It's gone beyond that, but uh, that's one of those things. Now, the types of prison that attack your education, the motivation factors as well. There's no. There isn't any particular there isn't type. Any particular type. No. It may well be the illiterate who finds that 
Rather, they find life to be handicapped by his inability to read and write, mm. and therefore come begging for the chance to learn. Mm. And we do have successes where we send them out, and then, of course, we have a referral system, so that we have officers and people to whom we can refer in the area in which they're going to live or work, and their education has continued in this way. After care, yes. Mm. Uh, the motivation factors, well, I've just mentioned one. It could be all sorts of things. Um, I had one person who went out recently, for example, who was a solicitor's clerk. He came in and he was a well educated chap, obviously. He wanted to continue. Um, so he could get on better, I suppose. Yes, because he wanted to go back to this. He was in for child or treatment. He was a nice person. And to look at him, you thought, well, I've been over this, I'm not mm -hmm. uh, So we did quite a lot with him. Uh, he was doing typing and uh, learning commerce and uh, keeping this kind of thing going all the time to give him some yes. sort of motivation to carry on his work and perhaps redeem mm -hmm. himself in his employer's eyes by saying that while he was away, he could waste his time. Mm -hmm. He added to his qualifications or attempted to rather than just sat about and mm -hmm. did nothing. You know? I would have thought. Those that were in for a long time would be motivated out of boredom. Doesn't or, necessarily follow. You know. That doesn't necessarily follow. This is the obvious conclusion one would expect. Or the, you know, the feeling in you that, you know, I just imagine myself, if I was going to be confined for a number of years, I'd like to try and occupy myself so that I wouldn't... Uh, no, some of my becoming cabbages. Yeah. And then, of course, you have what we call in the service the recidivist. Who is That's the person who comes back. back and forward and back mm -hmm. and forth? Uh, they just come in uh, because they are inadequate and uh, mm -hmm. can't face up to the pressures of society. Sometimes I think they uh, they deliberately commit crime to get back into the, the haven or the safety mm -hmm. of the prison environment. They become institutionalised in here. This yeah. is the word I think is one of the years. So, in answer to number two, there's no way. Really I couldn't say, well, there is the type. No. But you wouldn't say someone from a certain background, uh, educational background, would opt for it more than someone who is no, illiterate because it doesn't follow, does it? Because no, I'm a teacher in the who just came in two weeks ago. Yeah, so it doesn't. Uh, you might, uh, you might, might abhor education.